Hello and welcome back to my channel, not yours. And today I'm gonna be talking about the new operation shifting tides for Rainbow Six Siege. Right, so the new attacker is a sniper named Kali, and she has a grenade launcher attached to her sniper rifle. Her sniper rifle is very overpowered from what it looks like. It can go through multiple people and it can go through multiple soft walls at the same time. And her grenade launcher can actually destroy gadgets on the other side of the wall that it hits. And of course it can break open uh, non-reinforced walls, but it can't break open reinforced walls. So it's not really an alternative to hard breaching, but an alternative to Thatcher or maybe Twitch. You see, the thing about her sniper being overpowered is that it instantly downs you if it's a body shot and of course is a one shot headshot and it is like a 12 times scope i believe i'm not too sure on that but it's pretty crazy to think that now of course it's a 12 times scope to make it where you can't push easily as seen in the video where they talked about them so yeah that makes sense she also has a secondary which is an auto machine pistol that i can't remember the name of but it kind of upsets me because Glass needed that buff and he never got it. In fact, he got a nerf. And it's kind of just, you know, hitting it worse towards him. Of course, they're completely different operators. It's going to be played completely differently. It's just, you know, you kind of have to think about that. The new defender is Jaeger 2.0. I mean, Wame. Or Wam. Yeah, Wame, I think. And his ability is a magnetic thing like Jaeger's. Unlike Jaeger's, though, it doesn't destroy it destroy the grenade in midair and keep going you see his thing is a magnetic field it pulls it towards it but that doesn't destroy it so when you throw a grenade it could home towards it and uh get grenade the thing and the thing will automatically destroy itself the thing about it it also uh attracts gridlock and what is it capital's projectile bolts so when you shoot it or throw a grenade, it could instantly go towards a friendly and kill all of your friendlies if you're on the defending team. But uh, vice versa, if you're on attack, you could throw the grenade and it comes straight back towards you, making a very sad kill or an epic kill cam either way. I think it's a pretty unique and cool operator since he can put his uh, magnetic thing anywhere he wants it. He can put it up, down, left, right. And it's, it's amazing because, you know, you won't expect it. Unless you're really paying attention to what you're looking at. Now, uh, they, all, they are also <laughs> reworking the map theme park. Which is kind of upsetting, honestly. Because the new one kind of has this like temple vibe to it. Uh, whereas the old one was an actual theme park. And, uh, you know, it just it was dark, right? Now, of course, I like the whole lights on thing. Because it was kind of hard to see people. It was annoying at times. But, like, it kind of added a dynamic to the map, and it made it fun and worth playing. But the most upsetting part to me is they got rid of the train. Now, the train was so fun, and it just made the map unique, because it wasn't a close quarters combat area over there. Of course, they could move around, like they said in the video where they released it, but still, I don't really care if people, when I droned them out, moved around. It was more fun having that, you know, intense thought process of peeking through it having people go above it, but not getting rid of it totally is just upsetting to me. Uh, they got rid of the double staircase, which I'm not really too sad about. It kind of looks sick now. Besides that, I think that's all I really have to say about the new map. I mean, it looks really nice. Honestly, it looks beautiful. It's just upsetting that they turned on the lights, man. Like, why, why, why did they flip the light switch on? I, I don't know why they do that. But anyways, I guess that's all I really have to say about uh, the new operation. Anyways, that's all I really have to say. Thank you.